This is Nando for the Pound for Pound Boxing Show, proudly sponsored by Warren Boxing Management and Bravos. Here with the canon himself, Ezra Taylor. How you doing, champ? Good, man. Feeling good. Your call's always bringing the electricity. Um, it's good, man. I'm soaking the atmosphere right now. Um, just enjoying the boxing, you know. It's, it makes a change for not being in the ring. It's an iconic uh, venue. What, what, is, what is so special about this venue? What, what is it when you come out and you're fighting it? What, what makes it so special? You know what? It's uh, um, the history behind it, first of all. Um, I feel like this is all where the big British dust ups always happen. Um, but when you're in the ring, it feels like you're in a gladiator arena as well. Because obviously, you've got the balcony too, and then you've got the ringside, and the atmosphere is always so. It feels like it's close to you instead of being so far out if you're fighting in like an arena. Um, so yeah man, your call, second to none man, we're, luckily we're in March right now because if it was like in the, in the summer we'd be sitting here, yeah, standing here sweating and dripping but 100%. you know that also adds to the atmosphere so yeah man, your call is amazing, Queensbury putting on good shows as always um, and yeah man, I'm just here to, take, um, to enjoy it. Really. Tell, tell us about your last fight, how do you rate your performance out of 10? Um, out of 10, me personally, I give it a 6 because there's much more to come for myself I believe. There's a lot of things I've been working on that I didn't get to display in a short space of time. Um, I'm grateful that I, was, I, was, I managed to get a stoppage um, using, I guess, minimal parts of my skill. Of course. Um, but if I say, if that's a bad day in the office and I still can get the, the win and the stoppage, then just imagine when I do have a good performance, which will be the next time I step up. Of course, every, every boxer, especially as, you, as the weights go higher, so from let's say light heavyweight you always want to make a statement with with a stoppage but sometimes in the later rounds isn't it good that you get that under your under your belt the rounds that's very important for when you go higher up the opponent yeah definitely definitely well to be fair though i see it as you should be doing the rounds in your training anyway so if you have to then 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 go yeah do the 10 rounds do the 12 but i train for the knockout i can say that now confidently back in 2023 i was training just to see what I can do because I, like, I always say all the time my amateur pedigree hasn't been that heavy so I'm learning a lot on the job as well but I just believe going forward now is I want to go in there and damage people um, it's entertainment business but I'm a gladiator at heart so I want to go in there display good skill good ring IQ but I want to knock out my opponents as well so that's what I expect going forward and that's what you will see going forward as well of course you saw tonight Willie Hutchinson get the win uh, by TKO um, would you rate his performance and can we see Ezra Taylor versus Willie Hutchinson in the future? That was a good, good performance. It was a very good performance. Um, but you can have a good performance if someone's in front of you not really doing too much. I'm not taking it away from him. He's a good fighter, good kid. Um, but he just got my belt right now and he's just keeping it warm. I've got my eye on that belt. And unfortunately for him, he's the one who I've got to take out. And I'm gonna, in due time, I'm going to. But I've got things to do myself as well, man. Uh, on paper he's ahead um, but I'm working hard and like I said already he's a good guy so he's a, uh, a good fighter so I know that I have to bring my A game but I know that's more than enough anyway so all in due time man after your fight obviously I put the stories up on my on my uh, Instagram or our Instagram pound for pound we started this whole Ezra versus Ben Whitaker thing from two years ago and we will continue this thing until we get this fight but somebody came into the DMs and straight away called you out Lewis Edmonton so what do you think can you would you take that fight yeah I'll take any fight man I'm not, I'm not shying away from no fight or um, at all but it, always, it has to make sense man strategically I, I want to take fights going forward I don't want to be take, going back I know this <laughs> no disrespect to was the Lewis Edmonds symbol. And me fighting him, and we going back. Don't get me wrong, I want to fight an undefeated fighter. I want to fight another prospect, but he's not really making a noise that, that attracts me right now. But Willie Hutchinson, I want him because he's got a belt. Um, you know, Ricky Summers, English title, he's got a belt. You can see my trajectory where I'm trying to go, I'm trying to go forward, and I'm not trying to go back. And it's no disrespect to anyone, but that's where I'm here. I'm, I'm here to go forward and go to the top. So why would I take back steps? If you get something that's of interest, then let's go, man. Let's do it. I'm fire at the end of the day, so I definitely ain't gonna shy away from him. But you know, again, all in due time, we'll see how the boxing, the, uh, the boxing uh, scene goes. But everything's changing right now. People are vacating belt. People are going up, doing this and doing that. So it just puts me in a good position anyway to just make sure that I'm I'm ready for any opportunity. Before I let you go, 
there's one big huge fight in June the 1st. Bivol versus Baterbiev, undisputed in your weight category. Who's going to win and why? That's a big 50-50, but I always believe the boxer is the boxer always gets the better of the puncher. But again, don't get me wrong, Baterbiev is not just a just a puncher. He's very technically, he's, he's, his prowess is different. He's, he's good as well. But Bivol had that style where I feel like he can hit and don't get hit for 12 rounds or get hit less. <laughs> and I feel like that's what you have to do with Baterbiev. If, if anyone's going to do it, it's going to be Bivol. So I'm going to side with Bivol. I believe it's a 50-50. Let's call it a 60-40 to Bivol. Before I, now that I, let, I can let you go, final message to your fans that tune in whenever you fight and travel and pay for your tickets. I want to say thank you and I appreciate all your support. Honestly, most of the time, uh, the support is what is, is what makes these dreams come true. You know, people behind you believe in you believe in yourself. People stop believing you as well. So people stop, who are traveling, spending their hard-earned cash to come and see me and support me. Trust me, I keep it in my heart all the time, and I thought like I need to know that as well. I just wanted to let that be known as well. Supporters, fans, friends, sup uh, sponsors, everyone who's supporting me, I appreciate it. The journey's just started. And um, just, yeah, stay tuned, man. And yourself as well for giving me the time to, to talk my talk. 100%. Thank you, champ. And good luck for your next fight.